Welcome to the Business Blast Podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. This episode is brought to you by Authors Unite. Authors Unite makes the process of becoming a published best-selling author as simple as sipping your morning cup of coffee. You can learn more about Authors Unite at AuthorsUnite.com. Now, let's jump into the episode. All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Business Blast podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner, and today I have Finch with us. He's, he was a fighter pilot. Now he's a business consultant and public speaker. So welcome to the show, Finch. Thanks, Tyler. Thanks for having me. Of course, man. Thank you uh, for hopping on. We appreciate it. And uh, we'll dive into the first question. The first question I have for you is, what's the best story from your life that has an underlying valuable message? Dude, well, as a fighter pilot, obviously, tons of great stories, but my favorite story comes from before I was ever a fighter pilot. Uh, when I was about five years old, I was diagnosed with a disease called Lady Perthes disease. It's a degenerative bone disorder that affects your hips. It's super rare. They don't know what causes it. Uh, and when they found out I had it, I actually had to go into traction for six months. And I spent two years wearing leg braces, like picture of Forrest Gump. Uh, with these, my, my, my magic legs on, uh, and they told me, you know, you're probably going to be restricted to crutches or a wheelchair, but you'll never, you know, you'll never be able to play sports. You'll never be able to have a regular life. Uh, and, uh, I just remember as a little kid wearing my leg braces, I played baseball, I played basketball. I rode a, I figured out how to ride a bike one leg at a time. So I think during that time period of going through kind of, you know, really a difficult time as, as a young kid, it gave me the grit the determination, the work ethic, and kind of that mentality that said, you know what, I'm, I'm just not going to quit. I'm not going to accept what they tell me. I'm going to push through and I'm going to be, you know, whatever I want to be. And I think that really helped me out as I went through my journey to become a fighter pilot. Mm. And what's the most valuable piece of information we should know that's within your expertise or industry? Awesome. Well, I work for a company called Afterburner. We're all fighter pilots, Navy SEALs, Green Berets. Uh, we've been in business for 22 years. I've been with the company for about four and a half. And during that four and a half years, I've worked with some amazing teams, a lot of Fortune 500 companies, Global 1000 groups, and you know quite a few NFL teams as well. And I've seen some really great organizations and uh, you know truly elite teams, high-performing teams possess three common traits. The first one is that they empower their teams. That means they create a sense of motivation. They get everybody aligned, go in the same direction. Then they equip their teams with tools, techniques, procedures that allow them to go out and be successful, especially when they start to get task saturated or overwhelmed. And then finally, the truly elite teams, like the best of the best and very few groups actually possess this. They embed a culture of continuous growth, a culture of continuous improvement, essentially saying we're never going to settle. We're never going to say we're good enough. We're always going to strive to get just a little bit better. And what's your best piece of overall business advice? It might tie in, uh, but not industry specific. Overall business advice, this can apply to any company, any business, any industry. You have to be, as a leader especially, you have to be able to tie overall strategic vision, long-term organizational goals to the day-to-day -day tactical execution. People want to know, you know, what's the why? Why are we here? Why is this work important? Why am I turning this screwdriver why am I swinging this hammer? You know, why am I filling out this form? Why is it important to the organization? Give them a destination to shoot for. You're going to have an empowered, motivated, and aligned workforce. And if you could give your younger self one piece of advice, what would that be? Oh, man, don't you, don't you wish we could actually get in a time machine <laughs> and go back and tell our younger self something? Yeah. <laughs> you know, my big thing is uh, in my career, especially in the military, I served in a lot of very austere, you know, hostile environments. And I remember at the time thinking, man, this just, just sucks. This is terrible. And, and now, as I'm a little bit older and a little bit wiser, a little bit more mature, I look back on those times and I think, you know, so fondly of them. I look, kind of look at it through rose-colored glasses. And so what I would tell myself is, man, wherever you're at, just enjoy the moment and get the most out of it that you can because you might think it's bad now, but – the, the, the struggle that you're going to go through, the environment that you're in, the people you're going to meet, the skills that you're going to acquire, they're going to pay off in the future because things are going to work out the way they're supposed to. And in your opinion, what's the key to happiness? By far, the key to happiness, and it took me a long time to figure this one out, is you have to surround yourself 
with family members that you love and friends that you trust and respect. So, you know, probably the greatest thing I ever did was get married, have a family because they're my, they're my, my trusted advisors. They're my cheerleaders. They're the people I can go to for support when things don't go well. Uh, so by far invest your time, your energy, your efforts into your family and your friends. And what's the best book that you've read? And what was the number one thing that you learned from that? Awesome. Well, two, two books that I wanted to talk about. Number one's Flawless Execution. That's the one that uh, my boss, my, the founder and CEO of Afterburner, Jim Murphy, wrote uh, called Flawless Execution. Great book that tells all about what we do at Afterburner. Uh, and then The Motivation Myth is the new book I'm reading right now. It's by a guy named Jeff Hayden. He's an author for Inc. Magazine uh, and a ghostwriter as well. He talks about what really creates motivation in individuals. It's not going and seeing like a motivational speaker or, or having your boss pat you in the back. Motivation comes from going out and acquiring small, quick victories and just piling them up, piling them up on top of each other. And the more you can pile up, the more motivated you get and the more likely you are to succeed. Mm, I love that, dude. That is so awesome. true. Read it. Um, Read it. Yeah, I'm going to. that. If it's on Audible, that'll be my next audio book. <laughs> it is. Awesome. You love, the, the, you love the speaker, too. He's great. Great, great, man. I do audio books like crazy. I don't even know how many I do a month. And next question is, what's your favorite quote and why? So I went to the Air Force Academy, and when I was a freshman, we did a lot of physical training, right? So I was, I remember, I remember this moment sitting there in the push-up position. I think I'd been there for like forty-five minutes, and I'm staring at the floor, and there's a pool of sweat under my face, and and one of the training guys is yelling in my ear. He's making me memorize this quote, and at the time, I was like, this doesn't make any sense to what I'm going through, but I think he was trying to get me to think a little bit bigger picture. And what he, what he made me memorize was a quote by General George Patton, and it's this. If, if everybody is thinking alike, then somebody isn't thinking. So I love that the fact that, uh, that he's challenging me and saying, hey, you're not a robot. You don't have to be like everybody else. You need to think for yourself, but right now you're a team player. So that's probably my favorite quote. Mm. Thank you so much for coming on, Finch. That was so much value in under awesome. seven minutes. And yes, we did it. And we did it, man. And uh, the last question <laughs> I have before we let you go is where's the best place for people to find you online? Uh, my biggest presence is on LinkedIn. They can find me, David Finch Gensner, and that last name's pretty terrible, G-U-E-N-T-H-N-E-R. Or they can just email me direct, finch at afterburner.com, and that's finch like the dangerous bird of prey, a finch. Perfect, man. Thanks for coming on. We really appreciate it. All right, Tyler. Thanks a lot, man. The podcast you just heard was recorded with Anchor. If you want to make your own, download the Android or iOS app completely free from anchor.fm slash podcast. That's anchor.fm slash podcast.